Everywhere we go, all we see is China, China, and made in China. It makes me wonder, are we all made in China? I will let you guys answer that question in the comments below after watching this video. Not very long ago, people across the globe used to downplay Chinese products. The idea was that since the products were fake, nobody was going to use them. If you were one of those people, you ought to sit down and rethink your ideas. Because today, no matter where you go, you will see, made in China, in every nook and corner. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to state that China is everywhere. It is highly likely that the phone or the device you are using right now, to watch this video, was made in China. This is just the tip of the iceberg, as many of your health supplies are also sourced from China. Therefore, indirectly, your life depends on China. This may seem slightly exaggerated and unreasonable, but if you look closely, that is the life we are living right now. If you followed the news closely, you would have noticed that with the onset of the coronavirus pandemic, every country was awaiting the Chinese medical supplies. In other words, China was the corona-related medical supplier of the world. This is the primary reason why although the virus originated in China, it quickly spread across the globe. China is the world's factory, some have to visit the country, others have to go there for business purposes, and the rest use products imported from China. As the world started going downhill and many of us were losing friends and family to the pandemic, along with our optimism and hope, China waltzed in as our savior by supplying necessities to the entire world, as they own the majority of the world's factories. Recently, China became the world's second largest economic power. According to our research, China's factories play a major role in that. They are also a major reason for China's $14.140 trillion GDP in 2019. China's GDP is a result of the country's factories. China, which is officially the People's Republic of China, is a country in East Asia. It is the world's most populous country, with a population of around 1.43 billion in 2019. Covering approximately 9,600,000 square kilometers, it is the world's third or fourth largest country by area. As you are watching this video, you're probably thinking that it is not the best idea to let a group of people control our lives. Yet here we are. Your government allowed this to happen. In case you still don't know, most of the products you own were either manufactured in China or had some of their parts sourced from there. Just check the labels. Our food, medical supplies, and electronics are overwhelmingly from China, and the Chinese economy is growing so fast that it looks like they are pushing it with 5G technology. As stated before, many people still believe that Chinese products are fake. But you may have to rethink that as well. The biggest phone company in the world, Apple, manufactures its iPhone products in China. Similar to how China can manufacture fake products, its factories are also capable of producing quality products and services, which is why China is the go-to source for ibuprofen, hazmat suits, rubber gloves, surgical masks, and ventilators. Probably even toilet paper, for all we know. Now, let us look at the pros and cons of manufacturing in China, for all the stakeholders involved, including China. Let us begin with the pros. First is the cheap prices. We all know that Chinese products are cheap, and many a time, we have resorted to a Chinese product to cut our costs. How does China sell for such low costs? The answer is because their manufacturing costs are very low, which is a boon for American companies as well, causing even Apple to outsource its manufacturing to China. The outcome is that the consumers are happy, the companies are happy, and China is happy as well. The second pro is that Chinese manufacturers offer better service to smaller businesses in America. Many of the domestic factories situated in America are not very responsive or receptive to smaller businesses, as they are looking for bigger fish to fry. However, the majority of Chinese manufacturers are willing to work with smaller businesses as long as they meet the minimum criteria. What's in this for you? The wide range of products you want are getting manufactured because of them, not in our domestic factories. Third is the potential for higher output in a timely manner. Most Chinese companies boast time periods for large orders that are typically considered to be very quick. And the best part? They deliver it on time. However, that is not the case with many American manufacturers, who put constraints either on the time period or the capacity of the output. The fourth pro is that China's abilities to mimic or even duplicate other products are unparalleled. 
In no way am I advocating the practice of copying other people's products, as it can land you into serious trouble. However, if you want certain aspects of another product copied, China is where you go. For instance, say you like the dimensions of a particular shirt brand's fitting. You can send the same to China as a prototype for measurements and you will likely not be disappointed in their product. Next, the business ecosystem in China is robust, particularly in terms of its supply chain. The departments for manufacturing, distributing, and selling products do not work in silos. It would be an economically irrational step to manufacture certain parts in China and assemble them in America. Instead, due to its good network of suppliers, manufacturers, and distributors, the entire process of manufacturing in China is seamless as well as economical for American companies. The sixth pro is that manufacturing in China includes partial or complete evasion of tax. The Chinese government, in the year 1985, initiated an export tax rebate policy which ensured that the prices remain extremely competitive abroad, due to the elimination of double taxation for such goods. In other words, exported goods were exempted from value-added tax placed on final product costs to consumers. Furthermore, consumer-based products from China have also been exempted from import taxes. The result is, again, a low cost of production. Pro number 7 is that Americans need not worry about low-paying labor-oriented jobs, as these are largely outsourced to China. Instead, they can invest their time and energy on education and learning higher-order skills which prove to be more beneficial for them in the long run. Next, there is incredible efficiency in production in China. To begin with, their well-trained laborers typically ensure that the rate of failure is minimized. Moreover, since the labor costs are very low in China, any defects will neither derail the operations nor will they cut a huge hole in your pockets. The manufacturing process will continue seamlessly as if nothing ever happened. Penultimately, manufacturing in China opens up gates for market expansion there. Many companies that outsource their manufacturing to China also exploit the supply chain in the country to sell their products there. Moreover, there are no additional costs incurred by the company since shipping expenses are completely eliminated. The final pro is that Chinese companies have great knowledge in products. Being the world's factory right now, all of China's manufacturers have years of experience manufacturing thousands or even millions of products. Therefore, when they are manufacturing your products, chances are they have produced something similar before. They draw knowledge and experience from the past to ensure that the process is seamless and the products are of great quality. However, it is not entirely the rosy picture that I have drawn until now. There are several cons to manufacturing in China as well. Let's look at them now. First of all, finding a factory located in another country may be hard, especially if your project is a large-scale one and you cannot afford for anything to go wrong. Second is the language barrier. You most likely don't know Mandarin. And though the majority of Chinese manufacturers have learned English, it's important to understand that they have not mastered the language. So, there is a lot of potential for miscommunication. Moreover, they tend to take every word you say literally. Therefore, it is very important to be careful in terms of the phrases you use. The third con is that there is still a stigma attached regarding the quality of the products manufactured in China. So, there may be some criticism from your consumers if you use Chinese factories to manufacture your products, as they may believe you are skimping at the cost of quality. Next, the manufacturers in China usually have their minimum requirements set high. So, if you are a small-scale business that cannot afford to manufacture on such a large scale, domestic manufacturers are your only option. The next con is that the cost of shipping from China is much higher than any local shipping you may have to do in the case of domestic manufacturing. So, you would need to first calculate the landing costs. This is nothing but the cost of your goods after they have reached your company's warehouse, including the duty cost paid to the US government. You can then compare it to what the final cost of your goods would be if you manufacture them domestically. This way you can gauge the amount of money you are saving by outsourcing your manufacturing. The sixth con is the difference in shipping time. If you have your final goods shipped by sea, it will take at least 30 days to reach your doorstep. Needless to say, in the case of domestic manufacturing, it may only take one day. Therefore, based on what you're selling, you need to see how much this delay will impact you. You will also have to figure in the business loss during the 29 days wherein your goods are stuck on a ship. 
Based on the size and the number of goods manufactured, you can choose to ship them by air. Though the delivery will then be quick, it will prove to be more expensive. However, this expense may be less than the losses incurred due to a 30-day shipping period. The next con of manufacturing in China is that sometimes the quality of work is subpar, living up to the stereotype of Chinese products being of poor quality. However, this will largely depend on what is being manufactured. For example, something as complex as electronics may be riskier than, say, clothes. But this con can be countered by hiring an agent to monitor the process and ensure that proper quality checks are conducted. The eighth con is that the unpredictability of the Chinese regulations as well as the economic and political environments may become your enemy at some point. At one point, the Chinese government made it compulsory for factories to raise their prices. So, be prepared for such scenarios, or you will be caught completely off guard with no contingency plans in place. Penultimately, we are all aware that China is popular for its ability to duplicate and reproduce products. This can be a pro as mentioned earlier, but it also means that your intellectual property rights may be at risk. If you don't remain cautious, someone in the country may rip off your products, especially those trying to make money quickly. Although there are some measures you can take to ensure that this does not happen, they are not foolproof. Fortunately, the Chinese government is now setting up several intellectual property courts after the US raised concerns several times. However, it is best to file for a patent before starting your manufacturing process, even though enforcing it may be a hassle. Before the last con, remember if you want you can buy us a coffee to help fund our channel, or buy some cool merch from our merch store by clicking on the links in the description. And do not forget to smash the like button. The last con is that manufacturing in China can offer bad publicity. It is commonly known that the laborers in China are not only low paid, but also they are often subjected to inhuman conditions. Child labor is also rampant. Most of you surely remember that Apple faced a lot of flack globally when word got around about the infringement of labor laws in the manufacturing plants wherein iPhones were being manufactured. Therefore, it is best to monitor the conditions of your manufacturer's plant on a regular basis, or your business is sure to take a hit. Now, what do you think? Do you think the pros of manufacturing products in China outweigh the cons? Or is it the other way around? Hit me up with your opinions in the comments below. Let's have an interesting discourse.